construction is underway across the independent school district thanks to the passage of a $38 million bond to ease overcrowding, eliminate all mobile trailers in the district, and advance the academy model for all ISD high school students. I'm so appreciative to our voters. I can't say enough about the trust they put into us. And it passed at a historic rate, so that really says a lot about how the public feels about the things that we're doing and really the need for these projects. Progress as promised at the site of the ISD's newest elementary school. With a capacity of 500 students, the new elementary at 31st Street and Hardy Avenue will have the latest technology and open in the summer of 2019. The new elementary, our 20th, that is a huge win for the entire community. We continue to grow as a school district and that's caused overcrowding issues at really all of our elementary schools. So this is going to allow us to, uh, to get the space that we need but also meet the education educational needs of our kids. At Truman High School, the lunchroom expansion is well underway with completion set for this summer. That's on the north side of Truman. On the south side, you can see the progress on additional math classrooms, which will get rid of the mobile trailers. Work will begin soon on the new entry and exterior upgrades on the front entrance at Truman, which will address safety concerns and modernize the building exterior. And look at the progress at Van Horn High School. The E-Building has been demolished. The walls are up on the addition on the east side of the building to house a new competition gym, as well as a new metals classroom and instructional space for our culinary students. The new wood shop is already being used by students. We are very proud and extremely pleased with the progress that we're making on each one of the bond sites. Again, this wouldn't be possible without the, the generous support of our community. At William Chrisman, you can see the progress on four additional classrooms, including two Cisco computer networking rooms for the academies. The bond will also pay for remodeling science classrooms. The physical therapy and athletic training classroom spaces for the academies are finished at Chrisman and Truman, and work is underway at Van Horn. Well, those makeovers were some new casework, uh, new flooring, some paint, some lighting, and again, that's part of our Academy's initiative and has been very well received. The bond will ease overcrowding, eliminate all mobile trailers in the district, as well as add and enhance classrooms at all three ISD high schools for STEM, culinary, vocational, and business coursework. Facilities Director Saloom Stetzer says it's an exciting time in the district as construction crews are meeting deadlines and even are ahead of schedule. I'm a product of the Independent School District with the Academy's initiative and just the commitment uh, of the board and their vision uh, to continue to advance our educational pursuits is, is really welcomed and these facilities play a large role uh, in that pursuit. 